I am Dane Sanders, podcasting from Orange County, California, and this is your Simple Photo Minute. This week we're doing another episode of What's in Your Bag, and this time we're doing it with Jules Bianchi. So this is the top half of your little kit, and right. what's in it? This is the, the little camera bag, and this, ironically this bag was made specifically for digital equipment. It has this whole section here, and this is where I put all my backup CF cards, but I actually use this bag for all of my film stuff, because so I still kind of shoot, cheating. kind of cheating, I shoot a little bit of film at every wedding, and this bag is... So weddings where I know I'm not going to shoot film, I may not even bring this bag. This is my Q-Flash, and this is my Holga. I have a red filter here because I like to shoot Ilford's SFX, which is like a pseudo-infrared film, and it fits right on there. And I have the battery for the Q-Flash here and two lenses. Um, these are actually my cheaper lenses, so they're in the backup bag. It's the 28 to 300. And this is the lens that just came with my 20D when I got it, but I use it for dancing pictures. 17 to 85, it's also a pretty slow lens, but good for dancing pictures, so we'll use that at the end of the night. And this is my Elon 7. It's a film camera, and I'll use that if I'm going to shoot some cross-process film. This part here, this pouch, is actually where I keep all my film and my light meter. Do you know what this is, a light meter? <laughs> when I'm metering for film. And um, that's for these different bags of film. Um, I don't use them very much, so they last for many weddings. This is sadly, Ilford, please bring this film back. <laughs> They've discontinued. It's like my last two rolls, so I have pick and choose the special wedding to get those. And then these pouches on the side, I have a swing lens camera. This is an old vintage swing lens. I'll show cool. you how it works. That is cool. Like this, and the, the lens goes. That's funky. It does, um, it takes. 35 millimeter film and it shoots about a 120 degree panoramic image. So again, it's I only shoot maybe one whole shot at one wedding or one roll with the swing lens at another wedding. It just kind of depends on the couple and the wedding and the venue and how much time we have too. So this side, I have my pocket wizard, which I sometimes use with this Q-Flash and I sometimes use with my 580 EX flash. Now, what about the other bag? This is my main camera bag. This is what I bring with me if I'm second shooting for a friend or if I decide not to bring the film bag. And this is just an empty lens pouch. So if I'm running around, I can put this on my belt and put a couple lenses in here and not have to carry the bag. So that's where that goes. And then I also stick this umbrella in here, and it fits really well. So if I'm shooting altar portraits, say, at the, at the church, I will put the cue flash and shoot through this umbrella. Or if I'm shooting outside, backlighting people, I'll actually use it to block the flare <laughs> for me. This, which I love, I got from Sammy's camera, and I it's a lens cleaner. That's really cool. Who makes it, that? Uh, I don't know. Sammy's? I got it from Sammy's. Oh, that's and cool. And it hooks here, so I always, I'll clean all the lenses, you know, when I have some downtime or whatever, it's, and I always know where it is. This is for my laptop, right here. So I bring my, my G4 with me to all my weddings. That's a funky bag. Who, what, who makes this? Blibetro. This was from a company called Blibetro in New York. I actually got to pick the fabrics for the outside and the inside. I love. I get compliments on this bag all the time. Do they still make those? Like they they don't make custom bags anymore, but they definitely do. Blibetro in New York. I often do the slideshows on my computer when I have a slideshow, but recently I had a compact flash card failure, and I had image rescue, and I was able to save all the images but by the time the wedding ended, so I didn't have to freak out. <laughs> in the large bag, the first pocket I have just business cards, but it's manuals for all my equipment, just in case. And I have gum, electric tape. In here, I have these LumaQuest. I love these things to put on my flash. I have a little um, Velcro piece uh -huh. to attach around, so these just sit here. And then sometimes, uh, instead of those, I'll use my thong dong. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? People always go, what are these? I tell people, oh, this is for me to, some Tupperware for me to bring home a piece of cake. <laughs> okay. So, um, that, and I love the squishy one because it fits over my lens and you can easily, like, kind of mash it in there. So here we have three bodies. I have a 5D, a 30D, and a 20D. And pretty soon I'm going to replace the 20D with another 30D and have this be my backup. Do you like the 30D? Love it. I love it. And I have... So it's a big jump from the 20? I don't have uh, one. It's not. It's just that it's much more similar to the 5D, so the files are, like, the color is similar, and the, the controls are almost the same, so you can easily switch back and forth. Cool. So, um, and it kind of, like, I have 12 lenses. It makes it like I have 24 lenses because of the different ratio. Um, I have two 580EX flashes in here, a 24 
to 75 2.8 Tamron. I have an 85 1.8. I have the 100 macro 2.8, but this is my favorite lens for portraits too. This is like, this, if I had to pick any lens, this would be the one. That's my favorite lens. And this is another great lens too. I have the 16 to 35 2.8. This little device here is a Canon Speedlight transmitter, and I picked up one of these after shooting with Sarah France because she had one and I thought it was so cool. And hidden under here is my 24 1.4, which is an amazing lens and I love. This is my fisheye 15 millimeter. Hidden under here is a little lens baby. This is a 51.4. I think if I could pick two lenses, it would be the 51.4 and the 100 2.8. These are my all time super favorite lenses buy these lenses. This is the Canon little battery pack to power up my um, flashes and I use this during the reception to get quicker re uh, recycle time for my flashes and I picked this up after shooting a wedding with Anna Cooperberg because she had one and I thought it was so cool and you can sometimes I stick it in my pocket sometimes I, I attach it to my belt and it, sometimes I actually attach it to the bottom of the camera so it's pretty versatile and very light. Well it's a lot lighter than the quantum flashes too. It is. Yeah, definitely. And then under here, I have my big 70 to 200 2.8, which is a, another... Okay, I just realized when you pulled it up, your bicep just went crazy. <laughs> this is from Carrie and Camera Gear. <laughs> that is what's in my bag. And this has been your Simple Photo Minute. Bye. Bye. photocastnetwork.com your photography resource in the potosphere photocastnetwork.com